I've got so much to learn in life and jujitsu. It's just the, the more you learn, the more you, the more there is to learn. Someone, a friend of mine, he told me the other day, knowledge is like feeding a fire, right? In the, like let's say you're in a cave and you're burning a little fire, right? If you make the fire bigger, it just shows you how much bigger the cave is and how much more darkness there is. So my first experience of jujitsu was just overwhelmingly positive. It's a lot of fun. Jujitsu is ingrained in my DNA now, you know, and it, it's. I cannot even imagine what I'd be if I didn't have jiu-jitsu because my whole life is looked at through the jiu-jitsu lens now. You know, like jiu-jitsu is all about perfection of movements and techniques and ability. And to me that's what life's about. It's about perfection of your soul. You know, like and they, they overlap so much. And uh, everything I do now is it's the same as my jiu-jitsu game, you know, in jiu-jitsu I'm trying to refine and shave away those little superfluous movements in my game or, or refine things now that I'm a black belt, you know, I'm refining all the time. And it's the same with life, I'm always looking for the things in my life that aren't serving me anymore, you know, like TV was an example, I stopped watching TV a while back because I just felt I needed to cut that out of my life, you know. And, and I'm in life I'm looking for new cool techniques as well, whether it be a technique for business or a technique for relationship management or whatever it is, you know. So to answer your question, Jesus has completely changed my life. It's it's the lens through which I view the world now. They both see the traps. No fool alone. They won't go back. No fool alone. They've got a mind track. No fool alone. It's all a mystery. Let it come and let it be. I think Jiu Jitsu, if, if you think about what you're doing, you're bringing your whole self to the mat. You know, you can't come and do Jiu Jitsu with just your body and without your mind. And you can't do it without. <clears throat> with your mind and no body, you know, and, and in fact the way I'm looking at it now is it's not just the mind and body, it's your spirit as well. And you're the instrument that you use to create your jiu-jitsu, right? I mean, it's like you're the, your mind is the pilot or the driver and your body is the vehicle. And some of us are given better vehicles, you know, Andre Galva was given a Ferrari, you know, like, and uh, some of us are given average vehicles and some of us are maybe even given poor vehicles, but either way, you can make the vehicle run better by putting better fuel into it. I absolutely love this place. It is incredible. I've been to Tiger before. This is my second time, both times it's, they've been incredible hosts. They are, they run a very tight ship, it's, it's a very professional operation, but there's still a relaxed up atmosphere. And uh, I've made some good friends already on this trip, I think. If anyone's a bit anxious about coming all the way out to Thailand to a foreign place to, to train, um, you don't have to be if you come to Tiger because you'll get here and within three or four days you'll have a whole new group of friends and maybe even some buddies for life. And um, besides that, the quality of the instruction is fantastic. The uh, Jiu Jitsu coach is a fourth degree black belt, which you don't even get in most developed countries. You know, fourth degree black belt's a, a big deal. And the Muay Thai, obviously it just doesn't get better than that, right? So I will definitely come back to Tiger. It's, it's, it's my home in Thailand as far as I'm concerned. <laughs>